30 at halftime. Terry Miners is corralling his good buddy over there, Rick Patino, as the team's getting ready to go to the locker room. And I think Terry has the coach, has both of them. He don't know anything about the game of basketball. Let's have an intelligent conversation. <laughs> What do you think about your halftime performance with the guys? What do you got to work on in the second half? It's the worst fundamental blocking out for a team that does it every day ever. And, and I know we're at a physical disadvantage, but you fundam must fundamentally block people out. How about the jitters coming into side place like this? Do you think they had it? My team had it first first exhibition game. And, and we adjusted to the speed of the game, but your team shot lights out. <laughs> No. Yeah, I hope we can do it in the second half. I, down 13, will you press us in the second half? <laughs> no. No. If, you, if you'll promise not to press us, we won't press you. Deal? Deal. <laughs> the Yankees are up 14 to nothing after one inning. Now, <laughs> now, now, now back, everybody get your no do, no out. Here's Terry Miners. <laughs> Terry Miners getting some abuse. For a love, huh? Wow. He's mad. He knows the Yankees are going down tonight. We're coming back to freedom. Rick Pitino boxing out Terry Miners and interviewing Scotty Davenport at halftime. We'll do what we can here. The cards on top by 13 points. Joined now by the great Lancaster Gordon, a man who's part of two final, I can say great about you, two final fours. It's a good resume. My, my teammates helped me out a whole lot. That's what made me great. Let, let's talk about those those final fours and those teams. What do you remember about? I mean, th that team defined a decade. Those those cards teams. Just the chemistry. We played really well together. We read each other really well. It was real easy for us to uh, get together as a unit. Coach Crum did a fantastic job of bringing players from different eras, different parts of the community or, or from the nation, to to play together and play as a unit. Getting a look at some footage from 1981. These bring back any memories? You remember these plays? Uh, I still see how post in my sleep. I think every every time I watch a game, uh, how post is being used uh, is one of the best offenses that there is. You played in so many big games. I mean, you played in two Final Fours, and of course, the original dream game. What what does that game stand out more? Do the Final Four stand out more? What stands out the most? Uh, there was a lot of big games. I mean, some of the times, some of the games had to do with trying to make sure that we kept on the roll or got on the roll when you lose a game or you like Missouri beat us bad one time in Kansas City. How can we respond to that and get back to where we wanted to be. So there were a lot of games that that really defined us uh, as a team. But when you know when you're still defined by getting to the final four and by winning big games and we won a lot of big games. Real quickly, what do you think about this team? What do you like about the squad you're watching on the floor right now for the cards? I like this team. I think this uh, Buckles is going to be the best four to ever play here. <laughs> <laughs> How would you not get that thing retired? Did you, did you tell him that he's wearing a, an important jersey number? I hadn't talked to him yet, but I'm going to tell him he has to be the best player on the team. No, I think they have a really good balance. Um, they have some youth. Uh, Siva is really good. I mean, he is really, really good as a defender. I'm really Im impressed with him as a defender. Um, Buckles is really impressive, too. So they, they have a lot. Uh, I think this is going to be a good year. They've done a good job of bringing in some good players that can really help them. Well, you see the Final Fours you're a part of, Lancaster? Congratulations. Great, great to see you. Great to have you back around. And uh, I'm sure you'll be letting Buckles know about that number four. Oh, he's got to represent. <laughs> there you go.